Hey, this is Slick here with SFR Beats. I'm going to show you uh, something that I do to stay productive uh, with my work day. Of course, I'm a music producer full time, so it's important for me to stay, try to stay distraction free and try to, you know, have my focus when I need to. Um, so one of the things that I do um, is when I open up Studio One, you know, I, I used to be seeing all these messages and and, and notifications and and uh, you know marketing of upgrades you know they got studio one five now and I would like I would be saying I'll be interested in it but I wouldn't want my attention focused on that because I'm trying to get some work done well this is a way that this is a quick easy way that you can block and stop studio one from showing you stuff like that or any other program that you use for work for that matter because we all know like with modern times you know in modern software they usually plug in little advertisements here and there right in the software. It's like you can't close your browser out um, like you used to. They're going to show you the advertisements inside the program now. And you just can't disconnect your internet because you need other programs that use the internet. You may use cloud software and that thing. So uh, this is a way that you can stop <laughs> whatever programs you want from accessing the internet and showing you stuff like this so that you just open it up and you see just a blank slate so you can go ahead focus and get to work alright so this is how you do it and this is from Windows uh, if you wanna type in like Windows Defender Defender Firewall alright you wanna click on Firewall and make sure you're clicking on the one that has the advanced settings I'll show you again if, if you click on that you're gonna get this screen but you can also click on advanced settings and get the same screen up here, right? Alright, so let me close that because I already have one open. And you're going to see uh, all these wonderful icons and things to click on. <laughs> well, you just want to click on outbound rules, right? And see, I already have something up. And I guess I'll go over exactly what I'm doing. Actually, what I'm doing is just using what's called a firewall. Firewall is sits between you and the internet and can be used to block out unwanted unwanted access, right? It's a wall in between you and the internet. Well, we want to block out Studio One for this example. So I have to create a rule, a special rule for that. It's called a rule, right? So if I click on outbound rules and I click on new rule, actually I right click and then click on new rule, or you can just click on it from under the actions menu you want to leave the default selected at program because you want to block out a program right and we're gonna select uh, you select the path from here we'll just see if I have something already up let's see uh, program files and for me this is gonna be a pre sonus program right this is a typical directory that program files are stored in but what you're gonna do, you have to block these out by the actual executable file. Now, what's an executable file? The executable file is the program that is the actual file that runs in the program, kind of like the brain. All right. So for this one, it's just studio1.exe. All right. So I'll click next once I have that, and then I block the connection. Uh, I leave the default selected, right? Because I don't want to allow it. That's how I'm getting all these, these uh. You know distractions, right? <laughs> it's looking like you on uh, online on the browser or something. You know, watching YouTube, getting all those video ads. So we're gonna block this connection. Click next, and let's see. Under here, you might want to uncheck domain because if you have an app that communicates with other computers on your local network, then it, it may prevent access from that. So I just typically like to uncheck domain, but I leave private and public selected because I don't want Studio One. You know talking to the outside world so that's what I did so I hit next and then I name this thing you know take that studio one you know and then all I do is click finish and once I click finish I'm not gonna do that for this example but if you click finish you'll see it pop up right here at the top right and there's your rule and it'll have usually it has a little uh, if I enable the rule yeah <laughs> usually it has a little uh, what do you call that little icon? You know, a little cancel icon, little not not admitted icon, whatever you want to call it. I can't find the right word for it. But there you go. So once you hit that, and once you create that outbound rule, you will be able to open up Studio One, and you'll get nothing there. Feed not available, which is 
awesome because you don't want to be distracted by all that stuff that is non-work related. Well, you actually may be interested in it, but just not at that time. Not when you're ready to go in and get to work, right? You'll go to the, to the website yourself if you want updates, right? So <laughs> that's how that works. So, you know, and just in case, if any time you want to disable the rule, you just go back to your Windows Defender Firewall with the advanced security. And you look under here and you'll see right here, I can just disable the rule or I can re-enable re it, okay? So I hope that helps you out there. Again, my name is Slick. Uh, I go by Slick, SFR Beats. I'm a music producer, so it's important that we share information that's gonna help our artists and our community stay more productive while they're working, all right? So stay productive, do more what you love, all right? Appreciate you.